All right, so for you guys trying to wire up a uh, subwoofer amp to your factory head unit to hit a 4Runner. This is a 2016, but I'm pretty sure like from 2010 up to like 2019 or something like that, it'll be the same. But um, so, so these two connectors go here. All right. So that this this one on the right if you take this one off it has this let me see so two on the left two on the right and one two three four five six at the bottom if you see if you flip it over that skinny that skinny gray wire will be your remote wire So I got it right here, that gray wire, number three, which is number three, this this uh, right top left, right top left, number three, the one that's highlighted, is gonna be that skinny, skinny gray wire. That will be your remote wire for your amp. So after you got that wired in, you get the one right next to it these will be your if you if if you're running a line output converter this will be your speaker wires so on the left you see the red and the white i believe that's the left side and black and yellow that will be the right side the wire diagram is right here so yeah so red and white will be your right side so I got it backwards. So red and white. Video cut off, but red and white will be your right side. And then black and yellow will be your left side. Black and yellow, left side. So the black one will be your positive. Yellow will be your negative for the left side. And for the right side, the white one will be your negative And the red one will be your positive. I'll show you guys a video once I got everything wired up. All right, so I got my left and right positive and negatives hooked up to my line output converter. As you can see, I got the left positive, left negative, right positive, right negative. As shown right here, red and white. Red is right positive, white is right negative, black is right, uh, left positive, yellow is left negative. As seen right here you got the white you got the red you got the black and you got the yellow both of them on the left side two top bottom left sides and then two top bottom right sides all right so after you got your line output converter wired up and plugged up time to do your remote which is this buddy right here so you remember I said on the right side, top left, that little, that little gray one right there, that little gray one. So that's where I wired in my remote and you should be good from here. Plug it in and set it up where your amp is at and you're good to go. I ran mine, I ran all my wires down here through this kick panel. And I will cover it up with this guy right here. All right, so after you connect your RCAs and your remote, you can just run them down here, over here, down here, tuck it under the carpet, under here, and then run these under here. Bang, bang, straight to your amp, your RCAs. Simple clean install. Once you put the chair down, it's all hidden. And then you run your speaker wires through here. Back through here. Fritz show up here and to your subs. For my power wire, I just connected to this bolt and just ran it across on this wiring harness. Cut a little hole through that grommet.
and it shows up right over here and then continue on your stuff for my ground i use this little metal piece here grinded it down let's go just like that ran my power wire from here bang bang to there can't see no wires if you check under here boom there it is nobody will know Callando suerte